My name is Mary Movassian. I grew up in Yerevan, Armenia. There's different kinds of needlework you can do. There's just one like with a thread and a needle. This is lace maybe, lace needlework. Well, this one more like embroidery. Also like crochet, I think it's a needlework. Anything to do with needles. They teach us in Armenia in school. We learn how to do needlework, cooking and everything. But um, nighttime, we sit down, we didn't have TV. So like the grandmothers and mothers would teach the daughters how to do everything. So we had a lot of older ladies and neighbors. In nighttime we would get together, have coffee. And this one lady, Tanya, she taught me a lot. I don't have no the stitch names. I don't know the design names. I have books I bought. I watch YouTube video. I don't get it. I just sit there and then I put my mind. Okay, I'm just gonna do that and then I do it. You kind of like with the stuff. You have to figure out what you wanna do. You can watch thousands of videos or you can read. It's very confusing. You know, top stitch, back stitch. It's so confusing for me. I don't understand. So I just. Whatever I learned, you can change things and skip things. It's all about in your head. Being creative. It's about counting. Especially if you change in design, if you don't count, you will mess up. But if you're in stress, it's such a nice relief. It takes my mind off of everything. And I just sit there and just knit and knit. The feeling of it, your fingers are always moving. And it feels good when you go out and you're wearing something. They give you compliments. I made something um, for Guyane. Um, I made her a really special blanket. And she uses when she has to read a book or study when she's cold. And it's the thickest yarn in Joanne's fabric. I did it in knitting, but I used the biggest needle there is. It was so heavy my arms were hurting <laughs> because you have to keep your arms like that you know. Also I made another blanket for downstairs. It cost, it cost me a fortune on yarn, the thread, because it was very expensive and it's so big like a king size bed. It took me two years. That one I crochet it. It's very pretty, very big, and everyone loves it. Everybody uses it. We sit on the couch, it's so big that like six people can put it on them. So I went to Dream Fabric again and I touched all the yarn there. Whatever I like. And this one felt so soft, like baby skin. So I love black. I can wear black every day, it's my favorite color. And white, I said let's do something different so it's not so dark. It's all about feeling. I made this maybe 10 years ago. It took me a couple months because I just did a little bit at a time. Weekends or half an hour here and there. So you start from here and you go around and around. It's very, very easy to do once you know what you're doing. You can change every single pattern or you can do the same. It's going to look nice. But like if you go from small to big, then it makes your work a little bit easier to get the bigger size quicker. But if you do like tight, then it's taking you forever and ever and ever. So that's why I keep changing small, big, you know. And then I finished it with this because it's just so pretty. Knitting, you can just go on and on and on and on. Um, crocheting is... You have to always like change the design. Well, knitting, you can do the same design. You don't have to change it. That's the only difference. Because if you do only one, it's kind of boring. You know, like think about just this. So that's why you have to always think and think and think. I 
so good. I, I have a talent and it's great. If I need something, I can make it. I don't have to go search on nowhere. So Armenian traditions, I, I miss it so much. Back then, we care about everybody, we help everyone. If the stranger walks outside, we'll say, come here, I'll feed you. You know, like, you care. You support each other. Um, I think if I wasn't Armenian, I wouldn't know how to do none of this. It's the people who brought me to this world and taught me things. Mm -hmm.